Yo guys, for Shockness here with me here today is Abu JHD and we're going to be covering a really good topic. We're going to be talking about Black Ops 4 and we're going to be reviewing it down to earth from bottom to the top. So Abu JHD, what do you want to what do you want to say? Well, we're going to be we, Yeah, yeah, we're going to be speaking about the goods, the bads of the game and why I think this game is shit. One of my first points which I really really hate about the game and I feel like if they do not fix this please focus camera yes thank you <laughs> I feel like if they do not fix this point the game won't work for me I won't like it that much as much as the previous Call of Duties and the point is the time to kill dude the time to kill in this game takes ages since they added that 150 health I don't disagree with adding more health but I feel like the time to kill needs to be reduced at least by half or just a bit more because let's say you no, run I Okay, okay, tell me. You what? No, no, no. Uh, look, like, from the, I agree with you on that, but, like, you do know that the game's mechanics were changed. And, yeah, like, whole... if you shoot a person in his legs, it's gonna take longer to kill him yeah. than when you're shooting him, like, yeah. like in the I know, I understand that. Like... That's how it works with Call of Duty, the previous Call of Duties. But the problem is, when you see an enemy need to waste more than half a clip just to kill him. You know, back in the day, you could lone wolf it, you see two, three enemies, you uh, can kill them oh, easily. Oh, baby, your aim's just shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on, it's not that bad. It's not okay, that bad. Okay, right, okay, I've, okay. I've done good with the past Call of Duties. I don't know what happened now with this Call of Duty. Yeah, I've been doing okay. really bad. Maybe, yeah, that's something maybe that should get affected, or maybe more damage to the weapons, something like that. Yes. Either that. Either the weapons get would, buffed. I, I'd agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Or, yeah, or the health, uh, the time to kill gets nerfed, one or the other. Yeah. yeah. Alright, but what about, what do you think man, the new healing system in the game is really really amazing, like with me you know the whole pre concept of pressing L1 after you take damage is really really good, because it adds a whole new challenge to the game and a whole new different look to the whole Call of Duty genre, you know what I mean, because this has never been done in the previous Call of Duty, yeah, yeah. the fact that Black Ops thought about this, and I think somewhat they kind of stole this idea from Battle Royale if you agree with me, come on. Kind this of, something kind, that came yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it I mean, kind of did. Yeah, healing overall. Usually, it used to be automated yeah. healing. I feel yeah. like this isn't a bad or a good point. It's a game changer. It will change how the game is played. Sometimes it tends to get annoying. Like for instance, you yeah. kill an enemy, you go prone. You see, there's another enemy coming up to you. You want to reload. Yeah, you want to heal. It takes. You know, it, it kind of gets chaotic sometimes. Yeah, I feel like yeah, yeah. listen, if, if it's team play, that that would really work. But when you're lone wolfing on team deathmatch. You just want to run and gun, get as much kills as you want. Yeah, but like with this Call of Duty, they they kind of like refuse that whole concept. They want exactly. You to they want think teamwork. About it. They yeah. want you to yeah. They want teamwork, and they definitely want you to think about just blindly running and gunning. You know, you gotta think about your health at the same time. Yeah. yeah and like I you know, if it's not that it's like a really really slow. It takes really it takes a long time. No, it's like a really really fast like. Not even a second yeah, but, animation. Okay, like think, just think and like the guy hits his arm and stuff like th that. Think about this point. Let's say two enemies run up to you. You kill one, right. you're low on a clip, and you're low on health. What are you gonna do next? And then another enemy is right in front of you. Do you I reload you or have, do you stim you have your secondary. <laughs> do you stim shot? You have, no, like, you have your secondary, like, you know, I, I'm sure you, uh, none of you noticed, but they've moved the shotguns to secondary weapons. Which, and which I think, I think is a very great thing they added in the game. Because shotguns, yeah, like, shotguns used to I'll be I'll give you a open. scenario, I'll give you a scenario where you hit an enemy and then you damage him and then like you need to heal up really really quickly. But then, you, you're like you said, you're out of, your, your clip is gone. You need to reload, but if you reload, he's gonna kill you. So just switch off to your to your shotgun and one one shot kill him, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I get already it. damaged that's, him enough. That's, that's a very good thing they added to the game, which adds a bit, of, yeah. a bit more balance. Because be, before Definitely, the shotguns yeah. used to be in all of the Call of Duty is very OP. Especially World War II yeah. with the flaming shotguns, that shit used to really t piss me off, you know? Yeah. Alright, uh, one more thing I wanted to talk about is the body armor, dude. The, other than the time to kill is longer, people can equip body armor, which gives them an, an extra 50 health. That really yeah, gets but, annoying. Bro. No, 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 bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna correct you here because you're mistaken on that. All right. All right. <laughs> Look, obviously you didn't play the game long enough, and this comes to my second point and connects me back to my first. All right. The body armor, when you equip it, it kind of removes your stem shot. Yes. But your stem shot is still there, but, but it's it like recharges a slower. slower stem shot. Yeah. It recharges slower, and when you stem shot, it takes about a second and a half for you to stem shot. It's a longer yeah. animation. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? It takes both hands. So, I know that. 
yeah but then now coming to the body armor what it does is it just absorbs more damage so this connects back to your first point where you said it takes too long to heal it takes too long to kill an enemy you it know takes what I mean? too long with 150 health but think about it yeah with 150 let's but say the 200 health only comes into play coming to connecting to my second point right now is with the integrated specialist when you know this but have you heard of the specialist crash yeah yeah, his ult ability, the L1 R1 ability, is like Most... he adds a 50 health boost to the entire team. Exactly. So those guys that you saw had 50 extra health wasn't because of the body armor. Yeah. It was just because yeah. they're in their team. They had someone who ha got his ult ability, and you know he did it, and they he got them the extra health. Yeah, but bro, don't you think that extra health is not really necessary in the game itself? Think about it in this way, you're having a very good uh, kiss streak, a very good run, you're not dead yet and then you come up to an enemy where you have 150 health and he has a 200 health. He has the advantage, if you both start shooting first or even if you shoot a few seconds earlier, he'd still get the kill and that happened to me many many times within uh, me playing the game. That's what made really made me rage and kind of start hating the game itself. I feel like, I feel like that, ex that 50 extra health needs to be nerfed. It's either it it goes down quicker or there's any other way they could nerf it and change it. But overall. if you think about it, they kind of tried as much as they could to try and balance it. Because as soon as you get shot and it goes down back to like 160, and even if you stem shot up, it would not go back to 200. But he's still on an advantage with a 160 health. Which is well, he kind of is, yeah, yeah, you think about yeah, it. Yeah, think about it in, that, about like it in that way. That's something you cannot control. That's something that you like... It's, he just has more health than you. What are you supposed to do? You get what I mean, right? Yeah, that's that, that's something. Yeah, all right. I agree with that. Okay. Definitely, they should definitely try and fix the extra 50 health because that is OP. Uh, especially when, you know, the whole team gets it and then you just come up to that whole team. They're just going to fuck you in the ass. Basically. Exactly. You're going to just get buried. Uh, yeah. But like, come on, man. With the new, the new integrated specialist in the game, it's really, really amazing how you know the specialists work with the game. Like, you know, they all have their certain alt abilities and their sub alt abilities. The R one, you know, the R one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I don't, I don't mind specialists, but I disagree with you with the point, and I think it's one of my negative points in the game. It, it's the OP specialists, which is some specialists are very overpowered. Well, I guess you could say that, but bro, it's still a beta, you know? The whole point of the yeah, beta yeah. is for them to gather data and see how people react to it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. But, like, let's talk about the Nomad. I don't know if you know his uh, ult yeah, specialist yeah, yeah, yeah. is the dog. Yeah, yeah. Usually specialists, when you play with specialists, after you gain your ult, it still requires a bit of skill to get kills. It's not just yeah. press a button and then you start getting kills. With Nomad, you have a dog that's really, really powerful and doesn't die that easily after shooting him for ages that goes and gets you like three or four kills without doing any effort. You just click a button and then you start getting kills. Yeah, all right. that makes that kind and of And then you have okay. you have the Ajax Riot shield. I don't know if you know he has a shield. I yeah. don't I really like shields in games like Rainbow Six Siege. They added the shield. It's a very nice way, but I feel like the the way they added the shield is they're really overpowering him. He has a machine pistol that can go through the shield and start shooting enemies. You just need two guys around you, which requires teamwork. That's okay, something good. But if you have two guys uh, around you, it's unstoppable. Nobody can come from behind and kill you. If they change that pistol instead of a machine pistol to a normal pistol, I feel like that would balance it out a bit more. Yeah, definitely, all right, okay. And then, the but like you know, okay. some of them do have like sick, uh, sick abilities. Like uh, Ruin has the gravity spikes, which is a, which yeah. is a comeback from Black Ops Three, I guess. Yeah. And he has the grappling hook, which helps him get around the map better. The whole point of adding these different kind of specialists, like you said in the beginning, it requires teamwork. Exactly. Because every, that's why even when you play the game, no, no more than two specialists can be selected within the game. Only in, you know? only in team that match, but in control, yeah. and uh, it's only one. I'll tell you about yeah, one. I'll, I'll show you an example. Them, they're just two. Yeah, I'll show you an example of one of the OP specialists. I don't know. I'm not sure of his name, but he has that thing that produces radiation. It's like a device itself. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That device. Imagine people trying to capture, let's say, Domination B. The thing about the device is it's very overpowered because it can go through walls. So you just place it behind the. Uh, the flag itself or whatever they're trying to capture for the objective and it starts getting you kills for no fucking effort That really pisses me off. I feel like all specialists need a bit more bad not all but some need balancing 
where you don't just need the click of a button to get kills. You need to actually work a bit hard, a bit hard to get a few, a few more kills. You know that that gives you an edge in the team itself. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But you know, like, like a, you know, the game's new UI system is really, really amazing. You know how the whole, like, especially the map. The map kind of annoys me, to be honest with you, because I find it, I find it disturbing. The whole fact that you know there's that white thing, and then you don't know. The thing is with this new map, is they're like multi-level. Yeah, yeah, it's they're multi -level. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't know if the enemy's on the bottom level, and you see him on the map. You don't know if he's, if he's on the bottom level or he's on the top level. So it's kind of really annoying because you don't know what you're running into. The fo uh, uh, sometimes the fog of war itself, I feel like is a is a new addition to the game. People, some people dislike it, some people like it. I really don't have any feelings towards that because I feel like you can get used to that, just like the stim shots. You know, the stim stim shots yeah. were, were a new addition. It's, it's not it's a lot of a people new feature. Yeah, but it's exactly. something we can get used to. Exactly, with with a bit of time, you get used to these kind of things, like the stim shot, the fog of war map. Uh, yeah, these these these. Stuff are, yeah. It's either gonna be a game changer because, or it's either gonna be something that people will like and it's gonna make bro, the game fail. Think, if you think about it, you know what Treyarch is coming from? You know how Treyarch always seems to get the community and always they're yeah. the, always the kind of the hype within the three year franchise. Yeah. But you know, think about where they're coming from, what they're picking up. Call of Duty has been shit for the past two years. And you know, the fact that they're at the end of the, the three year cycle isn't helping them at all because, like, you know, they lost a lot of COD like players and like. Now they're coming they lost back half of the community. Game. Exactly, and now they're coming back. They're trying to come back with something really, really amazing to attract all of those people back. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I it's get what you mean. It's not fair for Treyarch because they feel, have. To I feel do like they. The work. I feel like if they changed it in a way where it could be team working and still be the old Call of Duty, depends on the game mode you play. Because yeah, the battle, definitely. the battle royale is already a game changer. You know. Call of Duty Battle Royale is Blackout as its name. When it hits, I think it's gonna everyone is gonna jump on that hype. I don't know if it's gonna uh, blow up more than Fortnite or PUBG. I feel not, but I feel like everyone's gonna jump on that hype and a lot of people are gonna enjoy it. One thing yeah, that we'll the thing see how the Call of Duty comes, how Black Ops uh, 4 will turn out to be. But hopefully this is just the beta, as you said, and hopefully you know within the coming weeks, beta week and two is gonna be probably better we'll jump into that and i hope that like if they fix the minor issues they have i swear it'll be an amazing game which i am gonna enjoy yeah. the main issue i want them to fix is lone wolfing where you can just hop in the game not require teamwork let's say you jump into team deathmatch okay i want to enjoy my day get, get a few kills you know get a positive kd ratio but when when you want to play and it all requires teamwork sometimes you're not feeling that vibe throughout the day but as i said let them fix that's, up this that's issue. what that's what free for all is gonna be for, man. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, we've hit we've hit pretty long in the video. We're gonna probably uh, upload this and see how it goes. If you guys want more, we still have few. Uh, we still have a lot to talk about. If you guys like the style, the whole duo thingy, duo the review podcast thingy. itself. Like, yeah. if you want a part two, just like and comment down below, and we'll and let us let us know what you think about the game itself. Comment down below. Yeah. We could talk about it next video. We can talk about it in part two. Opinion. If you guys like it, we could upload another one maybe next week uh, or following like after beta weekend two comes out. Definitely. Anyways, like guys, this is your host Abu Zashdi. With me here is Pro Shockness. Subscribe, Jeez. leave a like, and a comment down below. Adios. See you guys on my next video.